Welcome back to the series. In our last video, we were able to generate dummy data for data manipulation. In this video, what we are going to do is to go through the whole process the way it should be. Try to go to the back end and that will take us to the login page because by what we wrote, it's supposed to authenticate. So we'll go through the process, login, and then see how we can bring in those dummy data to the back end, manipulate them and display them back to the front end. All right, let's get straight to that. Uh, already we've created the back end route and the back end route, I will remove this so that we'll have the whole process. Yeah. So we are on the home page now and if I try to go to back end, it should tell me to log in by default yeah I've also added this don't have an account register here it's not done by Laravel I just added it so that it will be easy to register if you have not registered now let's just take one of the users that we have just to ensure that the dummy data also works so I have this email and by default like we saw in the factory the other time the password is password see it here it's password so uh just do this password we try to log in and there we have it the back end okay so we are ready to code now the first area we want to look at is the category because we need to create a category first before the post because every post will have a category so you don't want to create a post without no category and then you later go to create a category so we'll create the category first and then the post and we'll simply do that in our categories controller so we'll create a categories controller now yeah so i like doing that with the command Let's make controller category controller yeah okay so this is the category controller and it's just basic it needs to talk with the category model i also want to ensure that this is done with authentication so let me just copy what i have here in the constructor and also have it here this time around take this off okay and then we can continue So add category is the name of this method. Requests. Okay. This is what we have. So this is import this class. So what this is doing is it validates that the name is required and the minimum number of characters for a category is 2 the maximum is 50 it creates a new category an instance of the category class saves the name and returns the message okay this is going to appear like an api kind of thing because we are dealing with vu remember so vu needs to be talking to apis the next thing we want to do is to have the method for all the categories as the method to call out all the categories i'll rather create that here I call it all categories. Yeah, and again, just to save time, public function. Okay. And what this does is it gets all the categories from the DB and returns it. That's pretty easy, pretty simple. We we'll also do edit category. Edit category will take in ID because we need to know the category we are editing. Okay. And again, just to save time, so what we do is first of all find that category with this ID and then display it, return it back 
to the user. We also want to be able to update the category when it has been edited. This is basically just doing crude operations here. No big deal. Update category. That will also take the ID as well as the request. Just like we did for the add category, we validate the name, find this category, and then save it. Yeah. One, one more is the delete category. Delete. Delete category. Delete category also taking the ID because we need to know what category is being deleted. This is like two lines code. Find the category and simply delete it. So for now, these are the basic functions that we need. It's just simply crude display all. It displays all the categories. Yeah. function to add a category this function to find a category just find it and return it to the user and this updates the category okay and this is as simple as it is deletes the category so we will do the same thing for the post as well create the controller that will handle all the functions about the posts and then in the next video we'll bring in all these things that we've created so right now I'll create the controller for the post, write all the functions, yeah. As usual, the first thing we do is to create the function that displays all the posts. All posts and first of all we want every post to carry a category so there's a relationship between post user and category because every post we have a user by user ID and as well as a category by category ID so eloquent provides us a kind of relationship format that we can use in this post model what we're going to do is to write a relationship for the user as well as the category and this belongs to it belongs to user class belongs to the user class the same thing I'll do for category So belongs to category. Let's just import this class as well as import this class. Yeah. And here by category ID. So I'm safe to call user and category in the posts and anytime I do that it automatically brings in the user object and the category object as well so back to our post controller where we're trying to write the function to return all the posts here what I can do now to save time as well is to bring in 
just this small function you see here that will get all the posts including user and category from what we just created here user and category in the relationship we order it by id in descending order and that should do just fine so like like we did for category we're going to do for post as well another function to write is the add post function add post this will come in as a request request and as well save time on this so let's go through what this is doing it validates the request and ensures that there's a title and description so basically this is all we write for the ad posts just to save our time i'm going to save the images on the posts inside a folder called upload image which i'll add much much later in the project and later on i'll add a package for these images which we will use so we'll continue the next one is to be able to edit the post uh as usual what we do is to find the post let's find the post and return it yeah Okay, this one's a little bit long. We also need to add ID here. Okay. So it's the same thing we did for the ad, and this is just to update. If there's a photo, do this, and if not, we unlink the image inside this folder. And that would mean that we are removing that image entirely, or we don't update that image in the DB. Okay, and the last thing is, of course, to delete the post itself. And this will obviously take an ID. And as you can see, the code is just uh, as easy as it is yeah let's bring in this class as well what? all right let's talk about how to use this image like i said earlier we're going to be using a package known as intervention image it's a popular package for laravel to handle images on laravel projects so what i need to do from their documentation i'll open the page now is to run composer require intervention image and here let's check out what they have in their documentation and it's exactly what I'm doing composer require intervention image is the code I just ran and this is the integration for Laravel the documentation says after you've installed this open your Laravel config file config slash app and add the following lines so let's do that config this is config app and add this to the providers so I'll add this to the providers and let's go back add the facet of this package to the aliases array and do that as well this is the aliases array and add image again now the image class will be auto loaded by Laravel so that's it okay so let's wait for this package to be done and when it's done we can do the publishing in Laravel 5 because we're on Laravel 5 we need to do this it needs something from the vendor and right now it's not done so the vendor folders will not have been added okay the process is done so let's continue with our tutorial 
the next thing is to run this command php at send vendor publish this so just run that and it's done so what that did is that it created a file image.php here and that should be it now let's go back to our posts so on this image we can just simply use use image here use image it automatically knows that this is the intervention we're talking about okay that's safe in summary of this video we've written the category controller and all the methods involved as well as the post controller in the next video we'll start bringing in the vue components to display our posts and categories see you in the next